trouble this morning with our paws getting all iced up. Big snowballs in there, huh? Mm. I know it. Hi, good morning from southern New Hampshire in the middle of Storm Olive. I just brought my pups back to the car because the ice was building up in their pads and of their paws and they weren't enjoying it anymore. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to talk with everyone this morning. I would like to officially announce my intentions to attempt a through hike of the Appalachian Trail starting in February. I'll be hiking Nobo starting from Amicalola Falls on the eight and a half mile, 8.8 .8 mile approach trail to Springer Mountain and hope to finish on top of Mount Katahdin in Maine. And I have been able to set aside and block off seven months to accomplish this. Um, that should be plenty of time. And I would like to just say at this point that I am fairly experienced in backpacking and through hiking and doing long distance trails. Um, but I'm not a super speedy hiker. Uh, you won't see me doing 30 mile days, maybe a very rare occasion of that. Um, in the past, my goal was to hike 20 miles a day, but it's been a while and the years have piled up. So I'm not really gonna have that ambition on this trip. Um, I did, I have done several uh, long trails already. I attempted the PCT in 2017 and it was a very snowy year and a lot of fires with a lot of fire closures that caused me to have to start doing some road walking. And with all of the trail conditions, snow and uneven surfaces, and then the hard pounding of the road, I ended up getting a pretty bad case of plantar fasciitis and I just wasn't having fun anymore. So after 1,999 miles, I decided to call it and go home. And then I believe in 2019, I went back and I hiked southbound. In 17, I went northbound and I was able to finish the remaining eight or 900 miles that I had. I did repeat some. Um, so I have completed the trail, but that did not end up being an official through hike because I didn't finish it in a calendar year. However, I have since done other, not quite so long trails that I have completed. So I do feel like I am a through hiker. Um, but my motivations and goals and purpose for through hiking now have kind of changed. It's not such a athletic endeavor anymore, though I still do like that aspect. Um, but I've come to realize that doing these hikes for me is very therapeutic. And I've decided to slow it down some, take things in more, and I'm hoping to average around 15 miles a day and giving myself a little time to get up to that pace. Um, so keep that in mind through the videos. And yeah, what else? So I am starting this through hike, I would say not 100% whole, but I have made a lot of progress thanks to my Pilates studio, shout out to Lena and Evolve PT and personal fitness. Um, for about six months now, I've been having some pretty serious back uh, issues, 
and probably some QL problems as well. And those two ladies, the owners of those two businesses, have really helped me get back to a, a baseline point where I can actually consider making an attempt at this trail. So thank you ladies, I super, super appreciate it. Um, so point being, my focus is really gonna be on self-care for this trip and I'm hoping that that will carry me along through the miles. Um, we'll see. Um, I've been training. I've done six or seven long trails, or long hikes, I should say. Uh, the last one being about 17 miles in total snow and ice conditions. Um, and yes, like every day I've been walking in this. So having bear trail is probably really gonna feel cruisy when I get out there. And then just a little other, a little bit more about me. Um, I am 54 years old and I am from originally Massachusetts, Western Mass, um, but I've spent the last decade in Southern California. And just about a year ago now, um, we moved back to New England and are now in New Hampshire. My two English Golden Retrievers are the loves of my life, along with Michael. And I'm really gonna miss those boys so, so much. We do everything together, the dogs and I, that is. Um, every single day, we go for a walk in the woods somewhere. And it's gonna be hard not having their company. As far as gear and pack weight, I consider myself a light backpacker. I am not ultra light, um, but I am not super heavy. I do have some ultra light gear that helps me keep my pack light. Um, but especially since I'm starting in winter conditions, um, my base weight is not anything ridiculous. Right now, I think it's about 17 and a half, just under 18 pounds, I think. Um, but I do have an ultralight bag, tent, and sleeping bag, and that, or sleep uh, quilt, and that really helps keep the weight down. Um, so, yeah, once I, the conditions warm up and it's more summer like, then I will change out packs and drop some weight and hopefully at that point my base weight will be about 10 pounds. I'm gonna be upfront and say I really don't like the cold. I did not want to leave Southern California and move to New Hampshire, but I love the outdoors and I am very tolerant of conditions in order to be outside. Um, but uh, the reason I'm starting early mostly is just to give myself enough time to be able to accomplish this task without feeling rushed or pressured to do big miles. Um, I do have winter experience. When I lived in Massachusetts, I uh, had a great group of friends and we went up and did a lot of winter hiking in the White Mountains. So I've experienced pretty much every kind of winter condition and I had a lot of snow on the PCT. I also had snow on the Arizona Trail when I did that and also on the Hayduk Trail. So um, it's not something that I've never experienced before and even though I don't like the cold, um, I know how to handle myself in it. However, that doesn't mean that I'm not packing my fears. <laughs> so a lot of my pack weight is because I have a lot of warm clothes in there. Some of the reasons why I want to hike the Appalachian is Trail to work on being more accepting and less judgmental of myself as well as others, to work on my mindfulness, my ability to be present in a moment and not constantly 
worrying about things in the past or the future. Um, just being aware of my current surroundings, being in the now. And also to fall back in love with the Northeast, the East Coast. Um, like I said, I loved California. I didn't want to leave. Um, but I also want to make every effort to be able to be happy in my current environment. And I have not spent a lot of time in the southern parts of the East Coast. Um, so now's the opportunity to do it. Um, when I moved to California and then did the PCT, it was a really super great way to get to know the state as well as Oregon and Washington. And so I'm hoping to have that kind of same experience here. And how could I forget? Also, it's really important for me to be able to do this through hike with a body that is starting to age, I have to admit it, and learning that pain doesn't have to be scary and it doesn't have to cause fear and just being more aware, listening to my body, giving it more self-care, the things that it needs to be able to do what I'm asking of it. So that's really probably the biggest of all of the reasons why I want to do this. And lastly, I just want to put this caveat in there. Um, I have been on the fence about whether I'm going to do these vlog uh, videos and vlogging. Um, I have had a YouTube channel for quite a while and I have videoed a lot of my other trips, but I haven't done much narration in them. And I know that that's kind of a draw. Um, it's not my favorite thing to do. I don't really like talking into a camera, but I understand that it is appealing to viewers. So um, I'm saying this because I just honestly don't know right now if this is gonna be a long-term commitment. I feel that when I did the PCT, I was vlogging and that was more time consuming but I do feel like it contributed to my injuries because I wasn't getting enough rest and sleep because I was spending too much time trying to get my blogs done. Um, but since switching to videos, um, it is a little bit faster going. Um, so I'm gonna give it a whirl, but like I'm, I'm just saying up front, if I kind of just disappear and go dark, please just understand that I had to take care of myself first, and then hopefully I'll post an update when I finish. Um, and it's possible I may drop to like maybe doing a weekly vlog, but right now I'm gonna try and do daily. Um, so that's about it. I just wanted to make my announcement and let y'all know a little bit about myself and see you next time. Bye, have a great day.